Hello dear learners, today we are going to see an interesting topic which is called public speaking. So all of you I hope are aware of public speaking. You know most of us, uh, you know, at some point of time do have an opportunity to speak to the public. And uh, in today's session we are going to see about what is public speaking and uh, you know what is the three C's that are involved in public speaking and elocution and uh, you know what is necessary for a successful speech. So let's start with what is public speaking. So it is called as oratory or oration and as uh, you know traditionally you just meant for one person to speak to a live audience and over here it's it's mostly the speaker who does all the talking and the audience are receptive listeners and then sometimes when the speaker gets creative they do interact with the audience and we find that in today's scenario public speaking is very essential because uh, it is part of our day-to-day -day, you know uh, activities and it also includes formal as well as informal speeches and as technology has improved we see that uh, you know live audience is there and also pre-recorded versions are also available so no matter the distance we always have an audience to whom we can speak for example now you know even what i'm doing over here it's on a public platform the youtube and uh, it's a form of a public speaking where i'm uh, you know, taking a lesson so let's find out uh, what includes or what is necessary for public speaking what are the three c's of an equation so you need to communicate, you need to connect, and you need to captivate. So with whom should you do all the uh, all the three? You need to communicate with the audience. You need to have good communication skills, master good communication skills, so that whatever you speak, the audience is able to understand a good language, using the right words, the right vocabulary, understanding the needs of the audience, and using the appropriate language is very essential. For your message to reach the audience so communication is the primary element second is to connect you need to build a rapport with the audience if you continue to speak without being inter interactive or without gaining the gaining the attention of the audience your speech falls flat so for your speech to be effective, you need to connect with the audience. So you need to build a rapport with the audience. So different ways of connecting with the audience is by, you know, giving stories, talking from your own life. You could ask open-ended questions. You could ask yes or no questions. You could ask people to share their experience. So those are some ways of connecting with the audience. Only when you connect with the audience, what you are doing will actually be successful. The third point that needs to be kept in mind is to captivate. You need to captivate the audience. The audience should be in awe of what you're speaking. So the different ways of capturing the attention and to captivate the audience is to use good aids. So the best aids are visual aids because it's believed that people learn quicker by the things which they see rather than what they hear. So good tools that captivate, that support what you're speaking is always beneficial. For example, if you're describing, for example, you're talking about the benefits of a, in a motorcycle, you could captivate the audience by showing the motorcycle live by displaying its picture life. So that would captivate the audience. So you gain their attention. Or else, maybe you are talking about, uh, you know, a particular theme that you want to put across. Maybe it's about uh, gender discrimination. Rather than just talking about gender discrimination, you could use a visual aid of a video in which there is elements or there is a story that portrays about discrimination. This video may not be a too long video, it could be an under one minute video too, but it can captivate the attention of the listener. So use visual aids that captivate the, re the audience. You know, and the audience are continuously with you only if they are captivated. And the takeaway points are those that you know captivate them. 
So always try to be a creative person when you are involved in public speaking. So the essential three C's of uh, you know, public speaking or elocution are first to communicate, second to connect, and third to captivate. So moving on, let's find out how can you make a successful speech. So to make a successful speech, you need three P's. They are preparation, practice, performance. So the first P is preparation. You need to do a lot of background work before you go into you know, on the D-Day of your speech, which includes choosing the appropriate topic. So for you to choose an appropriate topic, you need to first understand the mindset of the audience. You need to understand who your audience are, what age group they belong to, what field do they belong to. You need to understand all this and choose the right topic. Once you choose the right topic, you need to do a lot of background research on what you have to speak because in certain spaces, you cannot speak on certain points. So be careful in choosing the right material for your speech. So do a lot of brainstorming, a lot of research and uh, you know you can uh, make use of other aids there are ample lot of online aids to prepare your speech so do a lot of preparation after you have uh, you know gained all the different sources from the different sources put it down in a first draft after you jot down all the points as a first draft the first draft could be just pointers it could just be pointing out at various things the second part would be for you to plan out whatever you jotted down. Plan out everything uh, like under headers, like what headers could you know, be helpful in uh, bringing forward whatever you're talking about. After which, the final part of your preparation would be for you to draft everything in a fair format. And after you format it in a particular format, you also need to choose the aids that you would use. For example, if you're going to use a PowerPoint presentation, then you need to know what points are going to be in what slides. So you need to prepare them appropriately and you need to place them. So uh, preparation, you know, takes up maybe 75% of your time. So prepare really very hard when you are going into a public speech. Next is practice need to do a lot of practice especially if you're someone who is uh, jittery someone who is scared of the audience who's got stage fear you definitely need to practice practice a lot before you go and do the actual performance so different ways of practicing one is practicing with yourself looking at yourself in the mirror or going to a secluded space and talking and practicing by yourself Second is you can record yourself and you can listen to yourself and practice. Third is you could uh, practice with your peers. You could practice with people around you on what you're speaking and get their inputs. Fourth way is to you know practice with somebody who's an expert in the field. So practice with ample lot of people. Practice a number of times if you are somebody who does have stage fear. So practice is also crucial for a successful speech. And finally, performance. So when you are performing, it is very imperative that you perform really well. And for your performance to be really well, you need to have first self-confidence in yourself, that you are the master of what you're speaking. So have confidence in what you're speaking. Secondly, concentrate on your own self on the day of uh, you know your public speech say that you are healthy enough say that you are hydrated enough and take care of yourself you need all the energy to perform so take care of yourself before you go on to the stage next is once you're on the stage be careful of your posture your body language it's not just the verbal words that you use that take across the message it's also the non-verbal your body language your gestures that speak a lot with the audience so for you to connect with an audience your body language needs to be appropriate so perform based on expectations of the audience avoid gestures 
that are inappropriate in that space. So your body language should be upright, up straight. Keep a pleasant face, smile on your face. Keep a pleasant look on your face and wear comfortable clothes for your performance. Uh, see that you write, you choose appropriate color for your costume also. That is also very essential. So when you are performing and you find that you've forgotten some points, do not panic. Think about the most uh, wonderful story that you could say in that part. Or just take deep, two deep breaths and then you can you know, manage the situation and you will be able to perform well. So performance is very essential and uh, it is, you know, how you perform that matters at the end of the day. So for a speech to be successful, you need to prepare, you need to practice and you need to perform. So public speaking is not a you know, easy walk for some of us. For some it might be, for few it may not be. For so those who are not very comfortable at public speaking, your preparation and practice holds a key. And for you to improve on your communication, you definitely need to listen to a lot of people, listen to a lot of public speeches so that you get an idea of how and where you need to improve. So I hope today's session was an eye-opener for you on some of the uh, you know, essential things that are needed for public speaking. And I hope that all of you would evolve as efficient public speakers. Thank you. Happy learning.